Hey guys, it's Danny here today, bringing you like a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at why one divided by infinity, why is that equal to zero? But before we jump into it, I want you lot to drop a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So the first, what we're going to do to prove this is essentially we are going to use calculus one, more precisely the limits from calculus one, and we are going to represent one divided by infinity as a limit and by doing so we're going to say it's the limit as x approaches infinity of one divided by x so the way to understand this to better understand this is we are going to use a limit and we're going to say just just for the sake of this video and this tutorial we're going to say instead of infinity over here we got a 10 basically the limit as x approaches a 10 of 1 over x when you solve this, it's very straightforward. You're now going to have 1 divided by 10, which is equal to 0.1. Now, say I decide to go closer and closer to my infinity value. Say my next x term is 1,000 instead. You know, as you can see, it's a much larger amount. It's closer to the positive side of the infinity, right? You are going to have limit as x approaches 1,000, 1 divided by x, which is given as 0 0.001. And there's a, a very nice correlation I like to show you now is that when you decide to increase the x term, say you increase it to, I don't know, a million or a trillion, when you increase this term right here, the final answer of the limit is going to yield an answer very, very close to zero. And you can confidently say at, a f in, at infinity, it's going to yield a number which is basically zero. And that's the reason why when you, know, when you take one divided by infinity, we say it's equal to zero. So that's basically how to prove it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you all later.